So this video starts out today, we'll set a basic on how to mod Minecraft Dungeons. Now I'm not on about how to obtain weapons you haven't obtained yet, or how to max out your level, or any exploit or things like that. This is solely on about how to change game files so you can obtain items like this. Items that the devs haven't made, but someone else has. Or if better still, items that you've made. So follow this series and you'll learn how to make things like this, how to make new levels, and how to have more fun in Minecraft Dungeons. So in this first video, we're gonna look at how to install custom mods into Minecraft Dungeons. Now this involves moving all the game files to make them accessible for the mods to go into. Now this is only available on the PC and I'm only doing the Windows Store version, so please bear that in mind. So straight off the bat, you need to load Dungeons up. Once it's loaded, go to Settings and get your build number. Now, if you already know your build number, you're okay, but your build number is here in Settings. So take note of that, 193.0. Then what we need to do is go to where you're going to move Dungeons to. So when you need to modify, you need to move the Dungeons content out of the protected file system and put it somewhere else on your computer so that you can actually gain access to it. So I'm going to make a new folder, I'm going to call it Dungeons and I'm going to call it 1.9.3.0 just as it is there it is there, just as it is in the settings 1.9.3.0 so once your folder is here, we then need to navigate to this URL. So the URL that we need to navigate to is dukacraft.co.uk. So they used to mainly focus on texture packs and things like that, but they diverted made texture packs for uh, Minecraft Dungeons and also other mods. Um, there's quite a lot of in-depth things going on, so it's always nice to see people modding and getting along with it and making enhancements to the game for better or worse, whatever. But anyway, we need the Windows Store version, so here we go. So we click on the Windows Store version. It then goes to the next page and tells you how to set it up. So read through this, see if you've got any of this, meets any criteria, make sure the game is up to date, make sure you've got 10 gigs of space, make sure you've got uh, Visual C++ installed. You may have an older version that won't work. So then you go down to the setup, you need to run PowerShell. So you need to run it as administrator. So we get PowerShell open. Then run it as administrator. Run as administrator. Alright, PowerShell is now open. I then have to run this command here. So it says here it might ask you about uh, execution policy changes. Press A, enter in some languages. The key you need to press might be different. And it says it should be next to yes to all. Anyway, right, copy the command. The command is coming copy to the desk, to the clipboard on the desktop. And we're in PowerShell, so I'm literally just going to paste it here. There we go, there it is. So it tells it where to go and what to do. Um, ah, go back up. Alright, so we're just going to click enter and see what happens. The execution policy change helps to protect you from scripts that you do not trust. Changing this execution policy it might expose you to the security risks described in the about execution policies. Help stop it, da 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 da. Press Y for yes, A to all, and da da da. And I can't remember what it said, but I did read it out and it says yes to all. Yeah, so it says it might ask about uh, press A. Just press A and hit enter. So you can see here A, yes to all. So we click back on it, A. Well, we did capital because that's what it showed. So now it's browse folder. Select the folder where the game should be stored. And this is the folder that we made up just a minute ago. So what we need to do is we need to go this PC on my computer, uh, D games, and then dungeons, uh, 1.9.3.0, press OK. And then what it'll do, it will go off and it will try and load the game. Now the fact that I've got the game open I might have just crashed it, so that's probably not a good idea. Let's go back to here and see, trying to dump the game, do not press it stuck. Alright, so because I had it open already, hopefully it will work alright. It's trying to dump it out. You can see here that it's dump, dump files, 199 files. 
what you can also do is, while it's doing that it's dumping all the music up is go to games and see if it's actually doing anything in the folder that you've created so it's doing some stuff we've got to leave that running and then it should be done soon so this is what we're after is the packs so I'll go back to PowerShell we're just going to leave that running and I'll be back shortly So as we can see, the script is done. It says press enter to exit. Sorry, enter to continue. So it does that. It just exits the script. Press across at the top right and it will go back here. So we are in the packs folder in dungeons here. So this is our folder we made. We then go dungeons. We then go content. We then go packs. And then we go here, which is all the pack files that we have. So this is where everything's put in and compressed. Here's the mods folder. The mods folder is where we put all the other mods in that people have made or we've created. So what I've done is I will paste one of my mods. I will paste the uh, Golem mod in here. There it is. So I've put my Golem armor mod in there. And then all we need to do is launch the game. So we go start and we type in Minecraft Dungeons. Notice it is Minecraft Dungeons modding now. It will still work. Run it always this way. So the game launches in modding mode and it will use and utilize that folder of mod. So Dungeons has loaded up. You can see here straight away that my um, mod has worked. My Golem armor is here. It's loaded in and it was relatively easy. So I'll put the link in the description for that so you can get it. But if you want to install mods that other people have made, it's quite straightforward. But if you have more than one mod that does the same thing, so it changes the same armor, I think it's, I'm right in saying it's alphabetical. So the last one in the directory gets read, so that one will be the one that will take effect. So just bear that in mind. I mean, there is mod managers and things like that, but we'll step onto that another day. But this was just how to get Minecraft into a modding state and you can actually install mods. So anyway, that is pretty much it on how to get Minecraft dungeons in a state of modding. There is um, a site where people upload their mods to. It's called nexusmods.com. Have a look on there. There's quite a few. I think there's another website now that's available too, but I'll try and find it and put the link in the description. So anyway, <clears throat> don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer you. There is also a Discord, which I'll put in the description as well, where you can go off and they will help you immensely. Um, Wanted Robot and CC will uh, do their best to aid anyone who is uh, in the process of learning how to mod or wants to mod or wants to do anything. So um, yeah, give those guys a shout if you get really stuck or really want to know something. I'll produce some more videos when I get the time, but as for now, this is how you get Minecraft Dungeons into a modding state.